So today is August 12th. And we just picked up August Lisa. August 12, 2011. 2011. We just picked up Lisa Nichols. We're on our way to the Pacific Design Center oh. in West Hollywood to show Lisa possibly her future furniture for her new home. Mm -hmm. What are your thoughts, Lisa? Well, I had a I had a number of thoughts this morning as I was getting dressed. It's very surreal time for me. Um, I'm in a place in my life where I have explosive blessings um, mm -hmm. based on the investment over the last 15 years. Um, my company's going public. I'm building my new home. Um, just, you know, we just found office space yesterday. Oh, so I'll have a real great. office for the first time since I started my company. And so this morning as I was getting dressed, thinking about spending the day with um, both Lisa, you, and Nikki, going to the design center and picking out furniture and picking out, you know, fixtures and picking out, you know, mm. fabrics. Mm -hmm. It took me back to 23 years ago. I haven't been in the design center for uh, over 23 years. The last time I went to the design center, I was in my early 20s and I was the receptionist mm. to an interior designer who did, um, who provided interior design for um, for high income clients, um, celebrity clients. Um, I was his receptionist when he designed James Worthy's house and Paul Moyer's home from the news. And and I just remember, you know, pushing paper. I had no interior design talent. And I particularly remember when I would go to the client's house to drop off something, or I would meet them at the design center that we're going to today, that I had this feeling of inferiority mm. and this feeling of um, there was two distinct different lifestyles and that I wanted to experience whatever that was that they had. Like, how did they get to the place where they can hire someone to help them create the environment that they love? Mm that someone's working on their behalf when they're away. Because we worked on our client's behalf when they were off doing whatever they were doing. Like, what is that? What do I have to do to get there? What do I have to do to have the kind of lifestyle where I can come shop at a place like this? <laughs> Not just come in to hand the paperwork to my boss, but to yeah. shop. Like, what does that feel like? And I remember being 22 and 23 going, whatever I got to do, I'm willing to do it. And so this morning as I was getting dressed, and I was dressing for my day, so I wanted to dress eclectic, you know, my colors on, I had this moment where I said, oh my God, I'm the client today. <laughs> today, I'm the client. And I don't remember those 23 years or so, what all I had to do, but it was in my subconscious from that day, 20 plus years ago, standing in the design center. I've never been back. Today is my first day going back. And I'm going back as the person that I wanted to be. Someone who has a team of people who've afforded, Lisa's crying behind the camera, by the way. <laughs> <laughs> Those are the sniffles you hear. But someone who, who did what she had to do. You know, and what's wild is that some unexpected things happen you know, after I left being working with him, and that is that I had a, a baby. And so, you know, where many people would say, oh darn, I got to this place with my baby, you know, who's now 6'1". <laughs> so today is a, it means a lot. It's not just about designing a home. It's the result of intention to design a lifestyle. But I'm here and going back to the design center because, because I think at some point I became non-negotiable. I didn't want to look through the window at someone else's life and go, wow, that sure would be nice to have. I wanted to create it for me. And so today is one of those stake in the ground days where I can clearly see, like I can see you, I can clearly see the result of my choices, mm. the result of my decisions, the result of my faith, 
the result of my resiliency, the result of my non-negotiable attitude, and the result of my humility. Um, I got fired from that job, by the <laughs> way. <laughs> I really sucked at being a receptionist. <laughs> But I'm a pretty good CEO and speaker Hello. and humanitarian, so more to come later. <laughs>